Thank you very much, Haley. Uh, the Florida Studio Theater is known for presenting theater you're not going to see everywhere else, and the current show in the Keating Theater is no exception. And joining me now is Danny Bernardi, who is a cast member in Florida Studio Theater's summertime comedy, The Underpants. Yes, The Underpants. <laughs> Good to have you here, sir. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. And welcome to Florida. I understand oh. this is your first visit to Florida as yep. an actor, so Got off the glad plane. to have you here. New land, yeah, glad to be here. And you were hysterical in oh, this play. Oh, stop it. No, you really were. You were absolutely <laughs> thank you, fantastically thank you. funny. The Underpants is a Steve Martin play. Yes. I yes, had no idea he wrote plays. Yeah, he sure does. This is, um, this is actually my second of, of doing one of his plays, and this one is an adaptation of an old German play by Carl Sternheim. And it's funny because... You know, I read the Steve Martin one first, and then I went back and I looked at the Carl Sternheim saying, oh, let's see what this old creaky thing is. And it, it turns out, you know, as much as I was crediting Steve Martin for a lot of the wonderful stuff that's in there, Carl Sternheim was pretty funny, too. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So they kind of, there was a, both of them had their uh, imprint on this play. Definitely. Well, I, say, I saw Steve Martin all over this thing when I saw Without it. Without a doubt. It was just really hilariously funny. And you play a, um, a, a poet, yes. right? Who was kind of, um, I, I wouldn't say, it was, yeah, you are the love interest, but you're, you're also kind of the mover of the play. Forgivable for his tragic inability at being a good poet, I imagine. Um, but yes, uh, she has a couple of suitors, and I'm one of them, uh, that an affair is arranged with at one point. Everybody just loved it when I was there. I was uh, fallen down laughing. It was great <laughs> stuff. This play is set in the 1800s. Is that difficult for an actor to jump into, like, another time period? Do you have to think in a different way? Or? Well, we try to honor that, of course. You know, we try to honor, you know, it's... Uh, 1910 Dusseldorf and you know of course you want it with anything you want to try and figure out you know the little things you know how you would get to work walking you don't you know what a horse carriage a horse parade the parade it's based around this parade and what a big deal that is but at the end of the day with Steve Martin's adaptation I think we really approach it as, as a modern piece and the truth of of what's going on is really the foremost thing and I yeah. think though the whole German flavor of the time period in the 1800s kind of added to the comedy as yeah. well. You'd have to see it to know what I'm talking about there, Gotta but come. it's true. And congratulations, as I understand it, it has just been extended for the third time, right? This is news to me. Thanks for the news. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It's true. I'm, it, apparently, that's a really big deal for the summer season here. So Just I'm, today, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So congratulations so, on that. Yeah. Hysterically funny play. If you would like to see it, by all means, check the website for the additional dates that have just been announced today. Thanks for coming in. Pleasure. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. Florida yeah, Studio come. Theater, The Underpants. We'll be right back. There was a report of uh, up to 18 tornadoes with winds in excess of 80 miles an hour through that region. And now the storm system continues on its track and it's barreling, barreling down now on the Ohio Valley. And later on this afternoon, it's going to uh, move into areas of the Del Marva, creating some uh, serious conditions there, power outages and such as that. We are uh, want to give out a big thanks today to uh, the folks uh, at the Isles. Uh, I was... Uh, uh, honored to be able to speak to the group of the CERT uh, volunteers there. If you are a, uh, uh, a member of your community who wants to do something really, really important, really great volunteer work, the CERT organization is something you might want to consider. Uh, they are volunteers that train in emergency response and in the event of a uh, natural disaster or man-made disaster, uh, they are going to be the first on the scene in their neighborhoods to help pitch in and prepare and pave the way for the emergency response teams that will follow. Uh, the training is free. Contact Ed McCrane at Emergency Management for more details. Big thanks to them. They were wonderful, wonderful folks out there at the Isles, and they have one of the best CERT groups in the country. Uh, pics at mysuncoast.com. Click a picture, send it to us. We'll get it on the air for you. Looking across the uh, deep south right now, things aren't too bad, really. We have a big ridge of high pressure building in. Things are pretty quiet here. Locally, not much going on through the state of